Welcome everybody. My name is Tim Sandy and I'm a VMware Technical Partner Manager and Systems Engineer. In today's session, I'm going to provide you a Technical Sales 201 overview of the newly updated vRealize Operations Manager version 6.5. In the new vRealize Operations Manager 6.5, we can sum up the improvements into three main categories. The first is enhanced scale, performance, and deployment options. The second is faster time to value with integrations and improvements. And the third is expanding collaboration and integration. I'll get into more detail on these as we go on in some of our subsequent slides. I just wanted to give an overview as to the three main categories of where we've made those improvements. So first off, the first enhancement under enhanced scale, performance, and deployment category. In the previous versions of vRealize Operations Manager, or vROps as I'm going to call it here on out, the supported position was that predictive DRS, Distributed Resource Scheduler, or PDRS, may affect the VROP scalability. We no longer feel that this is an issue anymore, and we've removed the associated warning with that during the install process. The second item is we have made scale and performance enhancements, which allow you to monitor larger environments with the same size footprint in older versions. So let's just say with the one of the older versions of vRealize operations, you could say with the large size or large profile of deployment of vRealize operations, you could monitor, let's say, 20,000 objects. Well, now with that same size profile of the deployment, you can now do maybe 30,000 or 40,000 objects. So essentially, we've made improvements so that you can monitor much more of the objects with the same deployment size you did before. So this gives you actually about a, up to a 25% increase in supported number of resources. So 25% is uh, pretty accurate. The third is we made it simple for you to scale up as your environments also scale up and out. So now when you need to scale up because of increased resource monitoring, you can now scale up to two times the amount of memory for your vRealize operations nodes than you could before. The fourth enhancement is that we've added a new extra large profile for when you're deploying and need to monitor extremely large environments. So again, just gives you another alternative. As you see with the extra large, it comes with 24 virtual CPUs, 128 gigs of memory, it can do up to 40,000 objects and up to 50 million metrics. So very large environment there with that extra large profile. We've also updated the sizing spreadsheet to accommodate the new extra large profile, as well as the new ability to monitor more objects with the same size profile as I mentioned earlier. So as you can see in this chart, this gives you an idea of on the different profile sizes, how many virtual CPUs, how much virtual RAM, also uh, how many objects you can also monitor with that particular size profile that you deploy. Now for faster time to value category with integrations and improvements, we now allow you to create custom metric groups. You can define and monitor custom problems. For example, uh, is my production VM facing high CPU load and any contention during expected peak usage periods, for example? Is the Dell ESX server in the particular production rack configured correctly? You can also drag and drop any metric or property to correlate the two. KPI metric group color shows problem and status very easily. It is also permission based, so you can sign permissions to this. And you can apply it for all objects across your entire environment. You're also able now to export the custom groups you create and import them into another VROps environment. This mechanism allows and uh, provides you a way to do essentially a backup and restore of your custom group. So that's, that's a nice feature to have so that way if something happens you're not having to recreate that. You can simply make sure that you have a backup of them and then do a restore if need be. One of my favorite improvements is the ability to automate the update of endpoint operations agents, or EP ops. This removes the manual process of updating the agents, saving administrators time and the business money. There is no zero agent collection downtime at all. And the ability to roll back the agent in the event the agent update fails for any reason, you have that ability to do that now. So updating your agents is a much simpler and, again, more of an automated process now. Again, making sure that your environment always, uh, all your VMs have the latest up-to-date agent. 
and it just makes the administrator's job much easier. For expanded collaboration and integration under that category, we now have the webhook shims are free. They're open source examples for sending VROPS alerts to third-party systems using a user-defined HTTP callback. For example, this gives you insight into the application event or failure that you want to be informed about. This can be done with any application that can use a REST API. So again, third-party integration using REST APIs, you can send those alerts to any third-party system that accepts those. This REST API notification plugin allows VROPS to integrate with most third-party solutions, as I said. However, the payload is proprietary to VROPS. Just keep that in mind. There are some other updates and changes uh, that I would like to also mention. As of vRealize Ops 6.5, we are no longer shipping the Windows-based installable of vRealize operations. In the second half of the fiscal year, 2018, we will be shipping it with our Photon OS instead of the current Linux-based OS for the appliance. vSphere Infrastructure Navigator, or VIN plugin, works with all versions of vSphere except vSphere 6.5, which is our latest version of vSphere. With vSphere 6.5 and later versions, the VIN plugin will not work, so be aware of that. We will be releasing a service discovery management pack for vRealize Ops that will work with vSphere 6.5 and later versions, so that will be the replacement for it. And vRealize Operations 6.2.1 and higher, the prerequisite upgrade checker can now upgrade vRops up to 40% quicker than before. So this validation process identifies issues before you start the update of the VROP systems, and it does it much faster than before. So that completes my presentation on vRealize Operations Manager 6.5 Technical Sales 201 Overview. Hopefully this information gives you a good idea of some of the updates that we've done in vRealize Ops 6.5. Thank you and have a wonderful day.